Hey guys, welcome to another edition of K Cards Baseball. Thanks for joining me tonight on this wonderful Friday evening, wherever you might be. Hopefully, you guys are all looking forward to a nice Memorial Day weekend, as I am. Tomorrow, I'm actually going to be attending a swappers meet. It's one I go to pretty much every Saturday of Memorial Day weekend. They do have some dealers there that actually sell some cards, mostly vintage stuff. So really looking forward to that. I'm going to pick up some cards while I'm there. So I look forward to sharing that with you guys in the next coming days. I'm really looking forward to the content that we have tonight. We're going to be talking Tops Baseball Series 2, um, which comes out actually on June 12th. All the uh, specifics came out on the Series 2 release yesterday so i thought we would cover that tonight on the channel i'm going to basically review it through the computer um, and show you guys the new inserts which are actually kind of cool so i thought what we do is kind of review it together so what i'm going to do here in a minute is flip around to the computer and we will take a look at it through the sports collector daily website so hang on a minute um, we're going to go ahead and switch around the computer so we can all kind of go through this product together. We can talk about what's going on with it, some of the new insert cards, as well as the new autograph information. So let's go ahead and switch to the computer. Alrighty guys, so I have pulled up the website Sports Collectors Daily. If you haven't gone and subscribed to this particular channel, I highly encourage it. Um, it is the best place to go to for any sort of hobby news. I try and follow it myself, personally on a daily basis. But if you're interested in that type of thing, I highly recommend it, as I said earlier. So they did put out the information regarding Top Series 2 on May 19th. And this is put out by Horatio Ruiz. So... Um, I thought it would be good information for us to go through together and discuss Series 2. Really looking forward to this release. Just reading through this information and doing a little background research. Um, it looks like it is going to be a really interesting release. They got some really cool insert cards for this release. Um, it's particularly the 4070 Ronald Acuna commemorative cards, which are going to be in the hobby boxes only they aren't going to be in retail at all so it might be further incentive to go ahead and buy the hobby box i personally plan on buying a hobby box myself the last couple releases bowman and series one i stuck primarily just with retail and i thought i would switch it up for series two and go ahead and buy a hobby box and um, supplement that hobby box with blasters on the retail side um, just so I get a mix of the two. Alrighty guys, let's do a deep dive into Series 2. It is going to contain 350 cards, the same as what we did see in Series 1. These cards will be number 351 to 700. It will have the same inserts that we did see in Series 1. However, it will contain an additional six new inserts that we did not see in Series 1. And I will talk about those inserts here in a minute. One of the inserts are going to be the 89 parallels, which is similar to what we did see in Series 1. There will be autos of the 1989 uh, inserts. Here's a, an example of the Yamamoto 89 insert, which will be really a cool card to get as well. Alrighty, so let's talk about the Hobby Box configuration. As you can see, Juan Soto is the cover boy for the Hobby Box. You can see here it's got kind of a purple tint to it, which I think is a pretty attractive product. This will be really nice. This looks like a display box, a retail display box, which actually I think will be pretty cool sitting on the shelf. Um, it is going to be the same as what Series 1 was, where you get 20 packs in a regular hobby box, so 12 cards per pack, so you get 240 cards. And you're going to have a guaranteed autograph or a relic card. You're not going to get both. So it's probably going to be the same as what Series 1 was, where you got an autograph card once in every four or five hobby boxes. Um, most common was getting a relic card as opposed to the autograph card. It's also going to contain the silver bonus pack, whereas in the jumbo box, you're going to get two of the silver bonus packs. Um, and the configuration of the jumbos are going to be the same, where you get 10 packs with 40 cards per pack, and you're going to get at least one auto 
two relics and two silver packs. So um, expect that to be the same as what the Jumbo box um, was in Series 1. I think the price point is going to be the same. It looks to me like Hobby Boxes are going to be right around the $90 mark, whereas Jumbos are going to be up around the $170, $180 mark, the same as what Series 1 was, I believe. I think $180 was about the price point for the Series 1 Jumbos. As you can see here, the base cards are going to be the same as what they were in Series 1, obviously. This is a sample of the P. Crow Armstrong card. Um, as you can see here, um, the base parallels are going to be similar. I don't know that they have the Independence Day parallels in Series 1. I don't remember if they did or not. Obviously, I didn't pull any of those, but it looks like all the other um, parallels are the same. You get the Mother's Day, the Father's Day, you get the Camel cards. You get the printing plates. Um, one interesting thing I didn't know was the clear variation, which is in the hobby boxes only. And I uh, knew this year was the first card parallel and um, the photo variation, uh, the base card true photo variation cards, which actually be kind of cool. Um, as you can see here, you're going to get the rare golden mirror image variations for all 350 base cards. Uh, the mirror image variation will have the regular card in front and the gold foil on the back. So this is Shota Imanaga, um, which is actually would be a really, this cool card would be really cool to get. I can't imagine the value is. I think Shota is probably one of the leading candidates for both Rookie of the Year and also maybe even MVP, dare I say, or definitely Cy Young. Uh, he's definitely the Cy Young leader at this point, probably in the National League. Having a great year is Showtime. The inserts, we have six new inserts that we are going to see in Series 2 that we did not see in Series 1. Um, the six new inserts includes a 40 to 70 insert to honor Ronald Cooney's MVP season. Um, the 40 to 70 insert is short printed and will be only available in hobby boxes. So this will be a strong incentive to go ahead and buy a hobby box. Um, that's probably the main reason I'm going to go ahead and buy a hobby box um, is to try and get one of these Ronald Acuna MVP season cards. Um, they're going to be gold parallels of the Ronald Acuna, red parallels number to 10, and platinum parallels number to 1. Um, the other new parallels will be City to City, Around the Horn, Covering the Field, Fantasy Favorites, and 2023 First Pitch Play Ball inserts. This one here is a L.A. De La Cruz Around the Horn card, which I think is, that's a beautiful card. Man, I can't even imagine how excited I'd be to pull something like that out of a pack of cards. That's a cool looking card there. And Ellie's obviously having a really good season. Um, so the uh, the new inserts are going to come in. Uh, they're going to come in short printed as well, where you get the blacks numbered to two ninety nine, golds, reds, and platinum. As we talked about, here's the Ronald Acuna card, the forty to seventy card. That is a beautiful card, and that is uh, a strong incentive to go ahead and buy the hobby boxes and shoot and uh, chase this particular card. Um, I don't know exactly how many would be in the 40 to 70 set. It doesn't really say here. Um, so it'll be curious to see that information. Um, also, just a little side note. This does not have any sort of a checklist. So I don't know what the checklist looks like yet. I would expect us to see uh, the new rookie cards. I think we'll definitely see like Wyatt Langford in this set. As far as a rookie card, Yamamoto obviously is going to be a rookie card in this set. Shota will probably be a rookie card in this set, so um, look for those cards as well. The 1989 Tops of Baseball design will continue to run in Series 2, honoring the 35th anniversary. 1989 base design will be joined by a new all-star insert featuring the game's best players and echoing the nod to baseball's all-stars in 1989. So this is a sample of the Aaron Judge 89 parallel all-star card. So that would be a good chase card too. And they will also have the same parallels, uh, number cards, uh, and so on. So on their insert sets, uh, making their return from Series 1 and Code, you get the Heavy Lumber cards. You get the Social Media Follow Back Redemption cards. Um, they offer collectors a chance during social media um, to follow from a well-known player. 
or HFAs, sorry about that, will be included in the set as well. Also legendary HFAs as well, including imagery from the player's home stadium. Those are obviously really cool. That'd be a really, like, um, I've seen a few uh, breakers open up and get H uh, HFA cards. Uh, Brett has gotten a couple. I think I saw Lucky Peter pull one or two. Um, really cool cards, and I haven't been fortunate enough to pull one of those cards yet, so... Um, if I get one in Series 2, that would be really cool. Sketch cards are one of one, um, hand drawn to feature current stars and former greats. They'll be found only in hobby products. So it seems like they're kind of loading up the hobbies, the same as what they did in Series 1, where you do get uh, hobby exclusive stuff. So um, that gives us more incentive to go after hobby boxes and mix in some. Um, uh, blasters and retail product as well. Commemorative relics. So here's a Mookie Betts Silver Slugger um, parallel card. This is obviously a manufactured relic, which is going to be in hobby packs only. They'll be found in number of the following parallels. So the Silver Slugger parallels are going to be um, numbered as well. Um, so that is something to look forward to as well. Even though I'm not really a big fan of the manufactured relics but it is something that tops does and uh, it is what it is autograph cards as you can see this is a really cool on card autograph from alex bregman the parallels are going to be the same in the autograph cards where you get black parallels gold red and platinums um, series two will have dual variations numbered to 10 and also mix in with platinum parallels and new this year in series two will be triple autographs are also new in series two numbered to five and with a one one I can't imagine what a triple autograph would be valued at, especially if it's like some major stars, Ronald Cunha, Shohei, uh, whatever. That would be really an awesome pull. Um, I don't know if it's really worth chasing because they're so rare, but that would be a really fun pull. I'd like to see one of the breakers open up and get a triple autograph. 1989 top space autograph cards are also um, back. Along with 1989 Tops All-Star Baseball cards, and we did talk about that earlier, and there will be um, autographed versions of those cards as well. Relic cards are going to be the same game use swatches from City Connect. Those are going to be numbered as well. Major League Material cards are basic relic cards, and they will have parallel variations as well. And um, in the name, relics will reappear which are one of one relic set if collected spell out the names na uh, the player's name from the back of his jersey um, that is was in series one two and a super rare hit there um, one thing i wanted to show you guys too this was actually kind of cool i did pull up this top series two players put cards in their pockets during games so here's a, a sample of what the hobby box actually looks like here you get your one autograph or relic card with one on the front of it. But it looks, they give examples here. So this is a Bobby Wood Jr. card and a Corbin Carroll card. So it says here it's been a few decades since kids were known to play uh, baseball cards tucked in their back pockets. Corbin Carroll and Bobby Wood Jr. brought it back for a day. The two young stars shoved a small pile of cards in their pockets during May's early baseball opening weekend. As part of a PSA promotion, the cards were autographed and inscribed and then graded. Obviously, the grade is going to be low. These ones are both very good threes, but the autograph obviously got 10, but that would be really a cool card to get. Uh, the players uh, kept most of them. One of each was saved for PSA uh, giveaway. Collectors who submit a value plus service um, or above through June 3rd will so be eligible to win one of these cards. So that would be a really cool thing. So I thought I'd just throw that in there uh, if you guys are interested in that type of thing. But back to Series 2. This looks like a really good set. I'm really looking forward to coming out on June 12th. Expect to see plenty of opening of Series 2 on the channel. Um, so I'm really looking forward to diving into it and um, going ahead and collecting Series 2. So anyways, guys, that is what I got for you guys tonight. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. It really helps me out a tremendous amount. I would definitely appreciate all the subscriptions that I do get. And we do have some incentives coming up for subscribers. We're coming up to 600 subscribers on the channel. 
and we're giving away a blaster box of 2024 Bowman for the giveaway for 600 subscribers and more details on that to come in the next coming days. Anyways, guys, that is what I got for you guys tonight. Be safe and happy collecting.